Hey guys, what's up? It's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. And this video is, I'm not going to say like impromptu, but yo, it's got me thinking. As you can tell by the title, it's talking about uh, one of my favorite people in the world and uh, what they are going through. If there is anything in this world you should know about me. It's that I am a huge Kid Cudi fan. And yo, I forgot to say one of the most important things in my videos. I'm here to send you a good vibe. So, you know, just take this as a good vibe. Um, the reason why he is one of my favorite rappers, or is my favorite rapper, he's like next to me now, but uh, <laughs> why he's one of my favorite rappers is because he's real. Like, he literally doesn't give a shit about his skeletons. Because he knows that people can relate like I think that is one of the main reasons why I listen to him and growing up as an adolescent it's hard my dude it's not easy you're trying to discover things about yourself and you know his music helped me discover like yo it's okay to be weird it's okay to feel lonely sometimes because yo I feel lonely too I understand people have like their favorites, but he's my favorite because literally he told me like it's okay to be myself. And as a kid, it's like, yo, know, that's dope. Thank you for letting me know that. Like Cuddy raised me and the killer saved me. Like those are my two favorite artists in the world. And to know that someone who helped shape you is going through a dark time. Like, it really hurts your feelings. Like, yo, like, when I saw what he posted and what he put out, that, you know, he's been thinking suicidal thoughts and just been in the days and just not himself. Like, yo, that hurt my heart. That hurt my feelings. That's like, honestly, I don't even know this nigga, but I look at him as a big brother. You know, like, literally on my Instagram, I will post, happy birthday, big brother, because we're both Aquariuses. I feel like that's dope. We have that, like, Aquarius bond. You know, I don't know him, but I feel this connection because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who feels this way about their favorite artists. Like, you connect with their music. Like, I have every album. I'm not going to tell you I know every song word for word, but I know his music. And that's that's my dude. So when I, and when I see that my brother, my hero, my homie is, like, down and out, if I knew this nigga in real life, I would be like, yo, what's up? Like, you okay? Like, myself, though I don't like to claim it, I normally just push it in the background, but I didn't know I had anxiety until I had a horrible panic attack. Anxiety to me, after like having that panic attack, felt like a building was just collapsing on me over and over again. Like, li literally, the weight of the world was on my shoulders and I couldn't breathe, like I couldn't think, I was shaking. I, I was literally gasping for air, like that was a panic attack. Little did I know, I have anxiety, like I have a mental disorder. Mental disorders are real, they're not just for people who come out of the military, they're not just for people who had traumatic childhoods. This shit is real. So, the reason why I want to talk about this is because I am with Cuddy. Like, I feel for him. Like, I have really been trying to show my support just as a fan. I'm just praying for him and I'm just praying for anyone who ever feels down and lonely and sad. Like, don't give up on yourself. Like, life is a bitch. Don't get me wrong, but the thing is, you can always make it better. Take it day by day. I know it's so much easier said than done, but taking baby steps will help. To be honest, to you know kind of get over my anxiety about life i just push that shit to the side because if i literally sit about if i literally sit around and think about everything that stresses me out i would probably crumble and want to like go in fetal position and be in a ball because i'd freak the fuck out like and have another panic attack so find something you love to do like for real music is my escape like that's why i said cuddy is like my dude, like, I would listen to his music to escape life. You have to admit that to admit to a problem, to tell the world that you have a problem, 
and you are taking time out for yourself to fix it, that is courage in itself. Because a lot of people just, like, like I said, I put my anxiety to the side, but a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people just live with it. And a lot of people are like, yo, I know there's something wrong, but I just don't want to do anything about it. But it's like, don't. Don't give up on yourself. There is help everywhere. Even if you just, sometimes even if you just need to talk to a stranger, that helps. Sometimes we all just need that voice to let us know, like, it's going to be okay. If you don't have faith in yourself, find faith in yourself. And if you don't have faith in God, sometimes that's all you need to be honest, but I don't want to go into a spell about my faith, but yeah, if you, there's many hotlines that, um, fuck, I can't even speak, there are various hotlines that will help you, I will totally do my research to link them down below, just to help you out, um, pray, just pray for yourself, pray for Connie, pray for anyone in a dark time, I've probably said that like 10 times, but remember, your life is worth living, and my channel is all about self-love. <laughs> my channel is so self-love is crazy. But um, if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you gonna love someone else? And uh, literally love starts with loving yourself, to be honest. And yeah, um, I guess I'm, I gonna, I'm gonna put my plugs in. But uh, if you feel like you wanna subscribe, go ahead and subscribe to the fam. We're a little bunch, but we're growing which is dope uh make sure you check out my social medias to be honest all of my snapchat i've been showing my love for cuddy because i literally just saw him in february so it's kind of like really breaking my heart that my my dude's going through this yeah but follow me on my social medias and you know just have a wonderful time in this world tip your ubers and just uh have a dope ass time in this universe and don't forget to love yourself okay peace and love Peace and love. <laughs> my thing is, these chicks are basically, I don't want to be rude or insulting or like negative, but that family is kind of like Build-A-Bear chicks. They've built their faces, they've built their bodies. To be honest, about 80% of the chicks on Instagram look like them.